I'll go. But one of you said, Oh, he's back. Oh. <laughs> Move away. Clover Fresh Milk. Made with love by Clover. Yes, Pali Jane, I are in the kitchen and we're getting ready to make something very simple but very delicious, right? Yo, girl, it's it's all about Women's Month and this is the perfect treat to make for the beautiful woman in your life. I think so too. And we're going to show South Africa how to take a classic sandwich cookie to the next level. I'm talking about vanilla on the outside and delicious granadilla ganache on the inside. It is a clover sip-up match made in heaven and the perfect way to celebrate Women's Day this year. And I think, my friend, we need to get right into it because it looks very nice, it looks very pretty. So I'm gonna start with the base, right? Any sandwich cookie starts with a good mixture of uh, ingredients. Here we've got some softened butter. Into that, I'm just gonna mix in some vanilla essence. And you know, the, the, the duty of vanilla essence, I believe, is just to, to make sure you don't have that eggy taste in mm. your baked goods, right? Yeah, it adds a beautiful flavor and a little bit of color, actually. True. Just a little bit of, of golden brown Goodness. Goodness. You know? <laughs> and listen, we've got some, uh, you know, chef royalty in the house today to me, so we got to bring our A-game. If we're talking about Women's Month and we've got two giants in the <laughs> kitchen, we need to make sure that the cookies stand up to that standard. So into my softened uh, butter here, I've already added some vanilla essence, and then we go in with our dried goods here. I've got some flour, some sifted flour, as well as some icing sugar as well that we've also sifted. And I'm loving the fact that this is quite a simple recipe in that it doesn't need a lot of ingredients. I mean, that's the cookie base as it is there. The butter Butter, the sugar, the vanilla essence, as well as um, the flour. And that literally gives us a beautiful, soft, crumbly cookie dough. Yeah, and especially with a nice cookie like this, you want a very short crack when you, mm -hmm. you know, snap that biscuit. And um, I love the addition of icing sugar because it, it, um, it can withstand the heat in the oven a lot more. Usually with a granulated sugar, the base of the, the cookie can, can tend yeah, to catch a little bit. True. So a great tip. Three ingredients, essentially, yeah. added a little bit of uh, vanilla essence. Yeah, that's now, it. While you're working on that, Tooms, I'm going to head over to the filling. Yes, yeah, so I'm the vanilla on the outside <laughs> and you're the granadilla on the inside, right? Up that. <laughs> so I'm going to heat up some of my clover sip up here. We're using the granadilla flavor, which I think is, is stunning. It's in season at the moment. Yeah. Um, I'm going to heat it very slowly on the stove top over here. And you want to be, you know, just really using a gentle heat on this. You don't want it to burn. Essentially, just a, a light simmer. We're using granadilla today. They have so many flavor variations. Yeah. So you can go wild at home, whatever you enjoy. Yeah, whatever you enjoy. And you were talking about the different flavors. I know they've got the coconut flavor as well. We've also got the apple and cinnamon. So if you want to change it up a bit, a bit, perhaps, and use a different filling, perhaps use some uh, toasted coconut, you could use the coconut. Uh, clover sip up vanilla, I mean, uh, coconut flavor as well, or the apple and cinnamon. And I mean, if you're looking to get in on the action and just level up, then clover sip up is definitely your go-to. I'm going to pour this over my grated chocolate. And this, grating the chocolate just makes it easier to melt down. So don't stress yourself about, you know, Obviously, the more chunkier the chocolate is, the more it's gonna, the more heat it's gonna require yeah. to melt down. And the longer it needs and to be. In you know, you want something a little bit more toned down. You know, easy to make, and this is the perfect sort of addition to that. And you want it nice and smooth and creamy. We're using a one to three ratio in our ganache today because we want it a little bit stiffer. Mm -hmm. So if you want it a bit more loose, you add. You can just play with the ratio. So add a bit more of your clover sip up if you want it looser. If you want it really thick to be able to make truffles, ah. you know. Uh, then obviously increase the amount of chocolate in there. And to me, I've got some that I've that I've chilled in the in the fridge, and um, you can see the consistency that we're looking for. Something really oh, nice really and spreadable. spreadable. Oh, I like that word actually. <laughs> I like that word. So we're going to sandwich some. And I think I, while you're busy over there, uh, Tooms, I'm going to dunk one of them and, and I'm going to give it a taste. You're going to okay. That? So I'm going to. I'm, I'm also loving the fact that, like you mentioned, we use the icing sugar, so there's no browning anyway. It's all just one mm. color, giving you the ability to see the filling as well as the cookie. Shame you can't even speak, my friend. <laughs> These are so good. I mean, look at you that. can see how it just snaps so easily. Very short, light, crispy. The granadilla in there, fresh, bright, and stunning. How long would we want to bake this one for? With, this is more like a short breadish yes. kind of texture to it. Just even like a 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, but keep your eye on it. Degrees, yeah. It gets a little bit golden brown. You can see this one started to mm. get a bit golden brown on the outside. And just keep your eye on it. Really, really take your, you know, take your time. If you're going to put so much effort into doing these cookies, really take your time yeah. and make them special. 
Well, that's it, guys. If you really want to start making these uh, cookies yourself, all you need to do is get onto afternoonexpress.co.za, get the full ingredients list, the steps on exactly how to make these cookies, and you too can enjoy such deliciousness.